In this Articulate Presenter 360 tutorial, we're going to learn how to insert QuizMaker 360 quizzes and engage 360 interactions. And they are both basically work the same way. So go ahead and open up your practice file. And we're going to come over to the Articulate tab. Now you'll notice you have an insert section here and you can insert QuizMaker quizzes or engage interactions. Now regardless of whether you insert a quiz or an interaction, you essentially come into the same menu. It's just one starts at the quiz level, one starts with the interaction. So we're going to go ahead and insert a QuizMaker quiz. So go ahead and click on QuizMaker. That's going to open up this Quizzes and Interactions window. And like I was saying, uh, regardless of whether you choose QuizMaker or the Engage Interaction, uh, you're going to be in the same window. Uh, the only difference is which tab you're in. Uh, there's the QuizMaker tab, the Engage Interaction tab, and you'll notice down here is the Player tabs. Uh, what that does is instead of inserting the interaction or the quiz on the slide, it actually inserts those into the player that you use for the course. So they will be available to you. And we'll look at that here in a few minutes. So we're in the Quiz Maker tab. Now you have the option of creating a new quiz. So if you click this that would open up Quiz Maker. You can build your quiz and then when you hit Save it will insert it in here. Or you can add an existing. And we're going to go ahead and add an existing quiz that we already have in our practice file. So go ahead and click on Add Existing. And you're in your practice file. Go to Quiz Maker. And just locate the quiz. We'll just use the practice quiz. Once the quiz is imported, you'll see that it says practice quiz slide four. Now, right now we only have three slides, but it's going to create a placeholder slide uh, for that quiz. And then you can see down here that you have some options like what do you want to do? So when the user passes, you can go to the next slide or you can go to any other slide that you like. Um, what happens when they fail, the same thing. And then again you can give these different options here. These are pretty straightforward when you click on those. And if you need to edit the quiz, you just select it and then hit Edit. We're going to go ahead and hit OK. And you can see it created a fourth slide and now we have this placeholder slide in here. And we can preview that and see what it looks like. And now we can see a preview of the quiz. So I can see uh, the practice quiz is inserted and I can see it actually has uh, three quiz questions that I can go to. And we could see that the quiz actually works. And then of course you can also look at it in the different mobile views uh, to see what it looks like in the mobile device with the responsive mobile player. We're going to go ahead and close the preview. And that's basically it in terms of inserting a quiz. Uh, when you look at the placeholder slide, you can see you've got two buttons. You can edit the quiz or you can edit the properties. Uh, the other thing you can do is just click on here and that brings open the window and then you have the exact same options here. So you can edit the quiz or you can edit the properties. Let's go ahead and click OK. So that's what happens when you insert a quiz. Let's go ahead and insert an Engage Interaction which essentially works the same way. So we're going to click on Engage. In this case we can see we're on the Engage tab. And again I have the same option. I can create a new one and that will open up Engage and I can create the interaction. Or I can add an existing one and that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and click on Add Existing. And let's go to the Engage folder and we'll just insert this interaction here. And now we can see the Comstar interactions inserted. We can see it's going to be on a slide 5. And then down here we can see that there's some properties for the interaction. And they're all pretty straightforward when you click and read through those. So we're going to go ahead and hit OK. And you can see just like the QuizMaker file it created a placeholder slide. I'm going to preview this and see what it looks like. And now we can see the Engage Interaction uh, inside the course. I can click. I can see that the interaction works. Everything works exactly the way I want it to. And again I have the mobile options as well. So we're going to close the preview. And just like QuizMaker, you've got these two buttons. So I can edit the Engage Interaction which would open up Engage and I can edit it. Or I can edit the properties. Or I can just click on this button here. And then when you're inside here you can see you can edit the interaction or you can edit the interaction properties. Now let's look at the Player Tabs option. The Player Tabs is a little bit different. With the QuizMaker quizzes and the Engage Interactions, we actually inserted those and they appear as slides in the course. With the player tabs, we can actually insert a quiz question. 
or the Engage Interactions as a player tab that's available on the course player. A lot of people use that. They may create a glossary or they may create like an FAQ type interaction and they want to have that available uh, to, to you at any time in the course rather than on a slide. So let's go ahead and add a player tabs. We're going to do this a little bit different. We're going to create a new one. So we're going to create a new Engage Interaction. What this does is it opens Engage. So I'm going to select my interaction type. And let's go ahead and say we're going to insert an FAQ interaction. And we'll just call this FAQ. Hit OK. And that's going to open up Engage 360. And so I would build my interaction. Uh, we're going to just keep the default since there's already like a little bit of placeholder content. Uh, but we'll assume you build your interaction and then you just hit Save and Return to Presenter. And then what happens is the Engage Interaction gets inserted in the player. So if we click on the Engage Interaction tab, you'll see on the Player tabs it says FAQ Interaction. Now if I click on this, you can see it gives me some options. The user can leave the interaction at any time or um, they need to view all the steps. I can edit the label. So I might not want it to say FAQ. Maybe I want it to say um, Human Resources, right? So I can give it a custom label, hit OK. And that's the label that's going to appear on the player. So let's go ahead and hit OK. Now I'm going to preview this. All right, so here's the interaction that we have on the slide. And you'll notice that I have the human resources here. That's what we just added. And when I click on that, you can see there's an interaction. So I kind of get a light box effect. So I can click and get my questions answered and close this out. And then I'm back on the slide. And then I can always move this around on the player. So when you watch the tutorials on customizing the player, you'll learn how to move this into different parts of the player. So it can be on the top, uh, left, or right. And let's go ahead and preview this and see what it looks like on the mobile device. So you can see I have my menu. And then you can see here's my Human Resources tab. And again, it's kind of uh, a light box on top of the slide. And I click, click Close and I'm still on my current slide. And then that's basically it. So when you're working with QuizMaker and Engage, uh, you need to learn how to use those so you can watch the tutorials. But then you can insert those as slides or you can insert those as player tabs. And then if you have any questions, don't hesitate to jump in the community and ask. We're always there to help you. And then watch the tutorials, learn more about QuizMaker, learn more about Engage. And of course you can watch the other tutorials to learn more about working with Articulate Presenter 360.